So instead, we are heading outdoors today to Sherwood Forest. In fact, the place made famous by none other than Robin Hood. Yeah, now we went there not to steal from the rich and give to the poor, although that's a great idea, and sure we should is. remember to yeah, do that next, next time, time we're there. Yeah, but uh, we're looking at this new technology that combines paintball guns with this brilliant new way to tag suspected criminals. Ah, the perp got away, but that's exactly what Andrew Knights wanted. His suit might make him look a bit James Bond, but it's the technology in his hand that's fit for a spy. We've developed a long-range tagging system that would allow you to tag um, offenders at 30 to 40 meters to avoid having to go into direct confrontation. This is the DNA gun, a way to tag suspects without them knowing it so that they can be arrested later. And what we've actually developed is a, a little individual pellet which contains a, a UV optical brightener, a special DNA solution, and then a unique DNA code. During a riot, that unique code can be used to tag troublemakers while police keep a safe distance. It removes that flash point, it removes a further confrontation point, but it allows the police to still go in and talk to the person after the event. So it's a bit James Bondy, it, it's a bit exciting. But, you know, civil disturbances, people having their homes ransacked, streets being looted, that's not fun. Andrew should know he's been in the security game for 25 years. I've been in some fairly uh, um, unpleasant situations in some um, overseas countries. You feel very scared and you certainly feel very vulnerable and very isolated. You know, and, it, and you just don't feel at all comfortable. The pistol is um, specifically covered in orange so that when it's deployed on the streets there is no chance of it being mistaken for a, a full firearm. It's powered by CO2. We then have the, the magazine which holds seven balls and then it's simply loaded into the, the... like that and then the device is ready to fire. We also offer a three-point device which is a longer range rifle and the important thing here is if you're looking to fire at distance, you've got the stability. We've made all the mistakes, you know, we've had the guns that have blown the pellets up or have been too strong. You need to have enough power so that it fires straight, but not so much power that it actually destroys the pellet in the barrel of the, 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 the discharge device. And yet it has to be going quick enough so that when it hits your, your back, which is normally what we're aiming at, it still has the power to explode. The gun itself is a modified paintball gun, but it's the DNA pellets that are truly impressive. Well, it's actually real DNA, using naturally occurring DNA that we extract from trees and plants. It's a, a liquid, and in, in the same way that you have DNA in um, your own skin, each DNA code is unique, tied to a particular shooter at a particular crime scene so that police can identify who was where and when. What the police want to do evidentially is to be able to say, the only way you could have got that DNA code on you was when the, 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 the product was deployed at, you know, two minutes past midnight in front of that jeweler's store. And because it's DNA, you only need a molecule of it to be able to work out what the code is. Finding that molecule is another story, since they're only visible under UV light. We have actually trained a police dog to sniff for selected DNA. If there was clothing that had been marked with um, a DNA pellet, the dog would be able to sniff it and confirm that that was marked with a DNA pellet. And it's not as easy as just removing your clothes to get rid of the mark. But the power is sufficient that it would go through your, your, your tracksuit top or your jumper, through your shirt, onto the skin. Thinking you can just wash it off, they've got that covered. We say at least half a dozen washes, and in area like footwear or on jeans, it can last over six months. But if you apply a UV light to it, it starts to glow up. Now, for the purpose of the demonstrations today, Simon has been shot a couple of times, or five times, he tells me. You can also see the spread. And if you come up into Simon's hair, where, the, where this one and this one, they've thrown it up onto his collar, into his hair, on his ears. If you want one for a high-tech game of tag, you're out of luck. This is a product that can't be bought by the public. It is being scooped up by police departments around the globe. Oh, it's amazing. You know, it's the, the coverage we've got on it, I think it's really caught the imagination. We've had a lot of interest from police forces in the UK, in Europe and around the rest of the world. 
which means perps who think they are the one that got away just might have to think again.